day guys today we're going to be looking at PowerPoint and in this our first video we're going to be looking at how to create a PowerPoint presentation in that we're going to be learning how to design the slides how to add text and graphics or pictures to the slides so when you open PowerPoint, you will see blank presentation and you will see other themes that you can use with different background like business technology, geometric color block and other themes. Below you will see more themes right where my pointer is. You will see more themes. So if you want to see the other themes that they have, you can click on that and search for a theme which is usually a background theme that you can work with right so i'm scrolling through to look at all the themes that are there you can also search online for themes and templates so this search box says search for online templates and themes you can click in there and search for a particular theme that you would like what i'm going to do is to do a blank one and we're going to be creating our own so i'm going to click on blank presentation and we're going to be designing one from scratch without using any of their design or theme ideas to the right side you will notice a dialog box appears with different design ideas if you would like to use one of those you can also use one of those all right but you don't have to if you need to see more if there is more well there's more so if you want to see more you can click on see more design ideas all right so we're going to be working from a blank one all right so how do you get your own design you can click on design tab and then when you click on that drop down arrow on the themes you will see a variety of themes that you can work with right all right so you can click on a theme that you like all right so if i'm just going to give you an example so i clicked on one and this is what came up you don't have to use it like i said you can create your own and again to your right hand side more design ideas are there and you can click on the see more to see more <laughs> all right so the next thing we're going to be doing is to add text if you notice on your design slide you will see click to add title you can click as they said to add your title what if we want to look at seasons we're going to be typing seasons as our first text or title you can also center it and if you like to use fancy fonts and stuff like that a bigger size different colors you can do that i mean from microsoft word you would have known how to do that so i won't be going into that aspect of it all right and our our subtitle could be types of or different seasons let me use use different seasons so we're going to be having five slides in total because we know we have four seasons and we have our cover page which will make it five slides so we're going to have a five slide presentation all right we can make the box bigger if we desire we can move the box higher if we want to we can move it anywhere we want to move it and how do you move it you will look for the four-way arrow on the border of the text box and when you cl left click and drag you will notice it moves so you can move it anywhere you want to move it all right we can change since it's seasonal we know the seasons come with a you know a variety of colors we can pretty it up as some people will put it we can pretty it up 
but we're not going to waste any time and do that you can do that at your own leisure all right you can also change the color if you want make the font bigger like i said earlier so i'm just going to do that quickly just a little thing not nothing much all right you would like to know how to insert a new slide usually when you open powerpoint it comes up with one how do you add more slides under the home tab you will notice there is a button called new slide under the slides grouping so when you click on new slide a new slide appears one thing i want to show you if you notice the second slide has the same type of background not the exact type but a replica of it so what you can do what if you want to change the background of the second slide you can right click on the background and then select format background you can change it all right so we're gonna look at another one we can look at the spring we could use this one for the spring representing spring so we can right click if we want to use it for that slide alone and select the option that says apply to selected slide and if you notice the background now has a spring looking design which is coming from the design that we just right clicked on all right so we can add our title it says click to add title so that's what you need to do and this one we're going to call it spring right and then what we can do in the next text box is to add a graphic or a picture to do that we can go to insert and then we can go to online pictures pictures then online pictures and we can search for a spring picture so we can put in the search box the word spring and press enter and then we're going to be looking at some pictures and choose a nice little one that we want in our presentation ah this is beautiful i like this one so i'm going to right click on this or we can just click on it and select insert ah voila 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 we can erase the information that is inside of the text box sometimes some pictures come with the um, information that accompanies the picture we can erase it if we don't want it and we can make the picture bigger all right so this is a representation of spring all right so we're going to now insert a new picture home then new slide this next slide we're going to call it autumn and we're going to insert a picture again an autumn picture of course so we're going to go to insert pictures and online and in the search box we're going to type autumn Right, let us look for a nice picture autumn picture nice picture representing autumn this one i think so i'm going to click on it and then select insert the picture is loading again we're going to erase the text box with the information or we could just click inside of it and i accidentally deleted it let me undo we're going to click inside of it uh the text box alone with the information you can just delete that all right then we can always enlarge on the picture to do that of course you click on the corner of it and drag it out to make it bigger if you want to make it smaller you drag it inwards all right so i'm going to be changing the background for autumn right so we're going to go back to design and let me see if there is any design there that fits autumn mm -mm -mm. 
There is no design fitting autumn or looking autumnish. <laughs> so we're going to be just selecting one that we can work with. All right, let, let us work with this. It has a, a similar color to autumn or the picture that I have. So we're going to right click on it and then select the option that says apply to selected slide. If you notice, I'm trying to decorate each slide differently. All right. I can draw this picture a little bit above the line and we can center autumn if we want to if you don't want to you don't have to you can choose a different um, font style as well all right so we're going to insert another slide new slide and then this one we're going to call it printer And then we're going to, well, I want to show you how you can change your background using a picture or texture instead of using one of those design ideas. All right, to do that, you can go over to, click on your slide first of all, make sure you're on your slide. And then where you have your format background, the option that says picture or texture, texture fill, you're going to select that option and then click on picture source under it you'll see insert select insert and then you're going to search for a picture depicting winter so you're going to type winter in the in the search box and press enter so when a picture comes up that fits what we're looking for we're going to select it so we can look at this one we can select this one and select insert all right, so this is how you can decorate it differently in terms of your background. But look, the word winter is no longer visible, so we have to choose a color that is going to be shown. A light color, we need a light color, is it? We need a color that will show the writing. Red is okay, orange, yellow. Yellow looks a bit bigger, but we need a, a, a clearer font. So we're going to look for a clearer font. Oh. Can make it bigger. Just so that it is visible. All right. And look, we don't even need to insert our graphics because the background alone itself speaks winter voila all right then you can insert another well let us insert a new slide first so back to home and a new slide and then which did we miss summer so we're going to type summer in that title box and then we can insert another picture here instead of do uh background again we can insert another picture that depicts summer you can type summer in the search box and select a nice little picture for summer yeah usually the beach a picture with beach is most likely to represent summer you can use this pretty picture here and click on it and select insert yeah so we can of course remove the writing from inside of the box and make it bigger all right we're going to do a combination for this final slide we're going to also put in a background picture picture or fill text and then of course we go to insert under picture source and we're going to type summer again and have it put it as a background so we don't have to use the designs that are there we can do our own which of these should we use for the background uh, which background would go lovely with a beach scene because we don't want to have any clash let me try this one and select insert not bad not bad we could use this 
but at least you get the gist you can be much more creative than this and do your own thing right all right so this is how you